Hello, my name is Sual Pozel, and in this video, I will highlight how to select the machine using Fusion 360 after accessing the Additive Build extension. Here, we have a part that we've designed using Fusion 360 within the design environment. Once we change from the design environment to the manufacturing environment, we will see several different tabs for creating this part. Using the Additive tab, we can create a new setup. Once we're in the setup, we can change the operation type to additive and choose a machine. In the machine library, the first thing we will see is the Fusion 360 library of machines. We can filter those using the additive capability. And since we are focusing on the additive build extension, let's further filter them for the SLM technology. Here you can see all the machines that are available in the Fusion 360 library. You can use the search up top to filter them even further. In this example, I'll be choosing a Renishaw AM250. These machines are not editable within the Fusion 360 library. However, if you either copy them or select them and do a drag and drop, you can bring them into your cloud library and they will show up within the cloud folder. Here, you can make edits to this machine if you wish to do so. You can right click and say edit. One reason you may want to edit a given machine is if you are customizing your machine and you are not going to print on the entire build platform and are printing on a smaller subspace on the build plate. You can do so by changing its dimensions and the bed size information. Another reason you may want to edit is if you have multiples of these machines and you can give them unique names and you can also associate unique print settings to these machines. Once you have populated your customized machine in your library, you can hit select and proceed with your setup. In this video, we talked about how to select a machine using Fusion 360's Additive Build extension. 